Hey, what's up, guys? It's OG Kush Breath here. We're uh, back with another interview today. We're interviewing Marissa. She's also a YouTuber. Uh, check her out on YouTube, Marissa Baldwin. She's probably in the comments somewhere on this video or another video. Uh, so say hey, Marissa. Hey, guys. What's up? So, yeah, we're just going to interview you a little bit. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how old you are, where you're from, stuff like that. child at heart even though I'm 19 years old. <laughs> um, I am 19. I live in Minnesota. I have since I was born. And interestingly enough, I don't really know anything about like my heritage. Yeah, we all know about your drawings. I like your art. Uh, how long have you been drawing for? I'm really not sure how long I've been drawing. I've been like, when I was really, really little and super obsessed with Powerpuff Girls, I would make my own badly drawn comics for them. That's awesome. So, I've been drawing as long as I can remember. That's pretty cool. Uh, you also sing. How long have you been singing for? Um, again, as long as I can remember. A lot of people ask me if I take voice lessons. I don't. I've been singing. I think the first song I ever memorized was, uh, from this moment on by Shania Twain. That's awesome. You're you're a pretty good singer for never taking lessons, so that's pretty awesome. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so uh, what kind of video games do you like, and uh, do you play much else besides Summoner's War? Um, I really love Pokemon. That's the uh, that's one of the other big video game things for me. And then. I love the Lego games, especially Star Wars and Harry Potter, just because they put such interesting, funny jokes or whatever. They make they make the serious moments of the movies super funny on yeah. the on the cutscenes. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so do you uh do you have like a a PlayStation or a Nintendo DS or something like that? Uh. We have a Wii, and then I've got a 3DS that I bought myself using Christmas money and um, money that I, I made at school selling bracelets. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, how were you introduced to Summoner's War? My dad, actually. he um, I was over at his place one time, and he showed me the that he had the win Epikeon Priest, and he told me to get into it, and I was like, and I downloaded it. I just never got into it. And then one day I was kind of depressed, just wanting something to do, so I got on the game. The next day I know it's four in the morning. And I'm still playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so um, what's your favorite monster you own? I know it's a hard decision, but um, always will be Chloe, but Cat is a close second, really. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, I, I freaking love her. <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected that. Um, So, what's your dream monster that you want in the future that you don't have, since you already have Chloe and Cap? Uh, you know, what's a different dream monster that you want in the future? Um, Definitely Iona and then the rest of the Val Valkyras, because they're so pretty. Yeah. You can tell I love the Epicheon Priest and the Valk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so what are some changes you would like to see in Summoner's War in the future? Um, definitely, like, I get a little annoyed when it crashes, especially in the middle of the battle. Like, if it's going to crash, at least give us back the energy that we lost. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. And then, I think there, there were some other ideas I thought I... One we were talking I really about. I want another Power Stone event. Those are those are useful. Yeah, another one we were talking about was uh, defusing essences. So, like for example, you defuse one high and get ten mids. Oh yeah, that I think when we're talking about that on Boxer or something. Yeah, that, that's just an idea that I had thought of. Uh, well, yeah, not that, not that, that I be thought of. That's pretty cool because um, there are times that like before I got the light nine tail. Tail box. I kept getting light highs, and I'm just like, really? I don't have any monsters to use this on. 
Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, okay, so i got one more question. This is kind of a fun question. Uh, who do you okay. think, who do you think would win in a fight? Katarina or Katniss Everdeen? Ooh, that's hard. I mean, Katniss can do long range and she almost never misses. Then again, Kat's got that big giant sword. She could even just slice the sword or slice the arrow if she's quick enough. Yeah. Dang, that's, that's tough. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say Katarina, maybe, because uh, she shoots those beams out of her sword, so maybe she could just shoot Katniss from a distance. Yeah, and then, like I said, she could use her big giant sword to cut the arrow if she's fast enough. And yeah. Katniss would be like, oh, crap, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, so uh, pretty much that's all the questions I have. Couldn't really think of a whole lot. But um, it was nice to interview you. Uh, you know, say bye to everybody. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so uh, say bye to everybody. And uh, go check out Marissa on YouTube. She's got some Summoner's War videos and she sings as well. So go subscribe.